What is up, Flavor Family? It is Bobby and Art at Walmart to do a huge, clean keto haul. Emphasis, my friends, on the word clean. Just because you're on a high-fat, low-carb diet doesn't mean all the stuff you're putting in your body is clean. I go into the grocery store and I see these products. A lot of them have low-quality fats, a lot of additives, a lot of preservatives, stuff I don't want you putting in your body. So let's head into Walmart and show you some of the cleanest, best quality keto products you can possibly buy. Before we do that, you guys know what to do. Join the Flav City family. Click that red subscribe button because every single week we are rocking out three videos on my channel. We're doing two videos at the grocery store every weekend and a live stream during the week. So better yet, click that little bell icon right below this video and enable all notifications because when we go live during the week, we're making a recipe from start to finish. My daughter Rose Honey is coming in and we're having a good old time and you do not want to miss out on that. Exciting things are happening with cauliflower pizza crust, my friends, and exciting and confusing because the cauliflower pizza crust is the one I want you to actually stay away from, whereas the cauliflower pizza crust is the good one. A very popular brand here, and the ingredients are clean indeed, but it is not keto because we look at the ingredients. It has brown rice flour, cornstarch, and tapioca flour, so very, very high in carbs and starch. A serving of this has... Uh, 24 grams of carbs. So this is a no, but the cauliflower foods uh, pizza crust is a yes because this is keto and the ingredients are killer, you guys. Look at this. Three ingredients, fresh cauliflower, mozzarella, and egg whites. The entire pizza crust only has six grams of net carbs. Fantastic, you guys. So cauliflower, yay. Cauliflower, nay. Very confusing. <laughs> Birch benders who make the paleo pancake mix now have keto pancake mix. And I'm devastated because the app, the in-store app says they have it in stock and they don't. Uh, so imagine it was here, but I'm super stoked about this keto pancake mix because look at the ingredients, you guys. The first one is almond flour, then tiger nut flour. Tiger nuts are very high fat, low in carbs, organic coconut flour, and it only has five grams of net carbs for two pancakes. It is more expensive than the paleo one because it has more almond flour and this has more cassava starch. But man, this is fantastic. I hope your Walmart has it. Birch Benders makes magic syrup. And here's the deal. It does have natural flavors here, but the sweetener they use is monk fruit. I cannot find a sugar-free keto maple syrup anywhere in the market that doesn't have natural flavors. So for that reason and that reason only, I'm going to say it's Bobby approved because if you want a keto maple syrup, natural flavors are inevitable. And this is really cool because they have maple bourbon. They have the grass-fed collagen and MCT oil one, but it looks like a Guinness exploded in there. Let's keep certain things separate, right? Don't be adding that to maple syrup. Stick with the original one here. Pair it with the keto uh, birch benders. Good to go for a low carb brunch. Let's talk about the best quality yogurt you can do here at Walmart. And for me, that's always organic dairy. Organic dairy is where it's at because the cows don't eat GMO soy and corn. And organic dairy cows have to be pasture raised, grass fed for four months of the year. That being said, I would always go for Greek style yogurt because it's strained to make it more thick. But what happens during the straining process? You strain out some of the lactose, which has sugar. So Greek yogurt is slightly lower in carbs than regular. But the problem is all I see here at Walmart is 0% fat uh, Greek yogurt, which I don't like because I want full fat dairy, always full fat because, dramatic pause, it has good fat and the omega-3 fatty acids. When you go low fat or no fat, you're missing out on that. So for that reason, I would put that down and instead I would get the non-Greek style organic whole milk uh, stony field as two extra carbs, but still you're getting that full fat. When you mix full fat with protein, it satiates your hunger so you don't get hungry later on and you're getting those vital essential uh, omega-3 fatty acids. And then I know what you're thinking because we're family, right? You're saying, well, Bobby, right here, excuse me, is a brand called Too Good, and it's low in carbs, only two sugars because they use stevia, and that is great, but number one, they're using or, uh, conventional dairy, right? GMO-fed dairy, and number two, they're using natural flavor. So for that reason, I would just pass this up. There's only two cheese on this entire wall of cheeses I would get here. One is organic and one is grass-fed. Let's start with the grass-fed one. It's called Old Croc. It's an Australian uh, cheese company. I gotta thank a uh, Flav City Instagram fan, which by the way, if you're not following me on Flav City Instagram, get over there. We do stories of what we're making for dinner every night. It's super fun. 100% grass-fed from Australia. 
Why is that important? Grass-fed dairy has the highest nutritional profile of any dairy around. They don't have this in the block form, but still, these little snack uh, forms, I would get for sure. It's better for the environment, better for the farmer, better for the cow, and better for us. And then, string cheese. I know your kids are gonna love it, right? Get the Walmart brand organic string cheese because organic dairy rules. That's pretty much all I would recommend here. The rest is conventional dairy uh, cheese, which is fed GMO corn and soy. And here's the deal, you guys. They say that GMO corn and soy is bred with Monsanto Roundup in the plant. So when the bug eats the plant, they die. But when we eat it, we're fine. Homie, well, don't play that game, and I don't think you should either. Let's take a break and thank today's sponsor of the video, Peely Hunters. You guys, Peely Hunters Peely Nuts are probably one of the most exciting products I've seen in a long time. If you have a keto kitchen, you need to have Peely Nuts in there because they are the highest fat, lowest carb nut in the world, plus they're rich in magnesium, which is very important for the keto diet. And this dude, the surfer dude in the logo, Jason, he went to the Philippines years back for a kite surfing trip and he fell in love with Peely Nuts. And for good reason, they're delicious. Plus, he goes one step beyond and actually sprouts the Peely Nuts. Why is that important? Sprouted foods are easier for your body to digest and they, uh, your body derives more nutrients from this. Here's the deal. He makes the Peely Nuts. He also makes Peely Nut Butter. Do yourself a favor. In my promo link in the description box, use your 10% off to get their version of Nutella. It's chocolate hazelnut. The ingredients are gangbusters. Then for the actual Peely Nuts, you can get any flavor you want, but the raw cacao with a little bit of coconut sugar is still keto. We're talking two grams of net carbs. The Peely Nuts are fantastic, and they're wild harvested in volcanic rainforest in the Philippines, and they're only fed with rainwater. So you guys, this is such an exciting product. Use my 10% promo link in the description box, and mad love to Peely Hunters for sponsoring the video. Super duper cool. I'm really excited to see Walmart stepping up their good quality condiment game in the form of Primal Kitchen ketchup. And the price here is right, you guys, it's $3.96. I see this at Whole Foods very commonly for like six, seven dollars. The reason I like this, clean, best in quality ingredients. Look at this, there's no sugar, just a few things, everything's organic, and the carb count is two carbs for one tablespoon. That is fantastic. And I know what you're thinking, well, Bobby, uh, right next to it is G Hughes. It's cheaper and it's keto approved too. The problem is, yes, it's sugar-free and it only has one gram of carb per serving, but look at the ingredients. G Hughes, my man, uses modified cornstarch coming from GMO sources. Not only that, but a cornstarch also is high on the GI uh, level, it'll spike your blood sugar. And he uses sucralose instead of a good quality sweetener like monk fruit or stevia. Sucralose also tricks your brain into having more uh, sugar cravings. So I would put that down. Actually, this is a cool brand here, True Made. It's uh, replacing sugar with vegetables and it only has three uh, grams of carbs per serving. So really cool options, but I would go with the uh, Primal Kitchen. This is so interesting, you guys. It's cauliflower snack in a pouch. Ingredients, best in class, cauliflower, sea salt, not refined white salt, extra virgin olive oil, and natural lemon essential oil. That's not natural flavor. That's the real essential oil of the lemon. Really cool. They also make gherkin snack with extra virgin olive oil. Both are very low carb with about one net carb per serving. There's three servings in here, three grams of carbs. Uh, it's really cool because a lot of us know that for a really nice snack on the go. You can get olives because they're high in fat and low in carbs, which is great, but I've never seen this before. Ingredients, extra virgin olive oil instead of processed oil or even expeller pressed oil. Super, super cool. You just never know what you're gonna find here at Walmart. And I think that is one of the coolest things I've seen. We don't have the nerve to go film in the uh, produce section, otherwise we'll get kicked out. This, this is one of my favorite low carb keto friendly pastas. It's Pasta Zero by Nasoya Shirataki Noodles. This is the only brand I, I use because it doesn't have a weird flavor and a weird odor. The ingredients are fantastic for a couple reasons. The primary ingredient is konjac flour. Konjac flour is very high in fiber, meaning it's a prebiotic fiber. Those are the kind of things that help the good probiotic bacteria in your stomach flourish. So this is good because it's a low carb and good for your gut bacteria. The entire package only has, you guys, six grams of net carbs. And I'd be remiss if I did not mention the keto meal prepping cookbook that came out a couple months ago. You guys, big thank you to you. You're blowing up this book. It has over 530 five-star reviews on Amazon. And there's a whole chapter in the book called Pasta La Vista Baby with a ton of recipes using shirataki noodles and roasted spaghetti squash. It's a great way to get your uh, 
carb fix or pasta fix on the keto diet. My favorite one that Art hasn't tried yet is the braised bolognese with fettuccine shirataki noodles. Here's the deal. If you're on the keto diet or if you know someone interested in the keto diet, tell them about this book. I'm going to put the Amazon link down below. And the rumor on the street is that Walmart and Costco are about to place orders for the holidays. So knock on wood, that would be huge. Go on keto without sacrificing flavor. I know you're going to like it. And thank you for supporting the book. It means a lot. Salad dressings are easy for a keto choice here at Walmart. I'm so happy they have Primal Kitchen because look at the ingredients once again, you guys. No sugar, good quality avocado oil, and super clean ingredients. And we're only talking two carbs per serving. This is your best in choice. If you're going to get one, the ranch here is fantastic, but they make a barbecue ranch flavor with chipotle powder. Awesome. So good. Other ones are loaded with sugar and low quality oil, right? It's about the quality of the oil, not just the fat. I care about top quality, heart healthy oils. And the same is true for mayonnaise. I'm so happy they now carry the Primal Kitchen mayonnaise because it's avocado oil mayonnaise, super clean ingredients. They put rosemary extract in here. And for me, it's that like that je ne sais quoi that is so darn tasty. And um, it is expensive at $7.96, but I don't know another mayonnaise here I'd recommend. You might be like, well, Bobby, Waldo, that Waldo was easy to hear. Thank God he has a squeaky cart. You might be like, Bobby, I'm gonna get the organic Hellman's, right? Well, yes, it is made with organic soybean oil, but it's not expeller pressed. More importantly, it has natural flavorings in here, which are nothing natural about them. So I'd skip that. Then you'll be like, Bobby, Duke's mayonnaise is where it's at because number one, there's no sugar in here, which is true, which is great, but they use soybean oil and it's not expeller pressed and it's not non-GMO. So it's Monsanto uh, laced GMO. Uh, soybean oil and they have natural flavors and other preservatives. So if you want the cleanest, best quality, best quality fat uh, mayonnaise there is here at Walmart, it's Primal Kitchen Avocado Oil Mayonnaise. Very excited to see this here. Have not seen it until recently. Monk Fruit Sweetener. This is a very good quality brand. Uh, they're starting to have this in a huge bag at Costco uh, lately. Not at our Costco in Chicago, but that's the best deal ever. The reason why I like this, it's a one-to-one -one replacement with uh, sugar for baking, and it's super clean. It's just erythritol blended with monk fruit extract. You have to blend it because the monk fruit is very, very sweet, and this is fantastic. This is actually my top choice for keto sweetener because the flavor is great. Uh, pure erythritol, I don't really love because it has a weird kind of cooling effect on my tongue. Someone left their shopping list here. Let's see what's on their list. Morningstar chicken patties. 1% eh, milk. I prefer if they were going to get whole milk. They do have bone broth and Purdue Harvest Land chicken breast. Those two are Flav City approved, so hopefully someone comes back for that. Stay away from the uh, Walmart brand Stevia because it's not pure Stevia. It's maltodextrin and Stevia. Maltodextrin is from GMO corn. It's also high on the glycemic index and will spike your blood sugar, so no to that. Um, coming over here, this wall just has some great stuff in general. For keto, it has hemp hearts, which are fantastic for making low-carb uh, hemp heart oatmeal. Uh, it has organic cacao powder, which is a great way to get your cocoa fix without the sugar that normally has in uh, chocolate because it only has one gram of net carbs per serving. And then stuff like chia seeds are fantastic, ground flax seeds. So this is a great wall right here. And then let's go over here and check out uh, the fats for cooking. I'm always blown away by the fat selection they have here at the Walmart Super Centers. Uh, look at this, you guys. They have uh, a really good quality uh, brand of uh, animal fats from Fatworks here. Duck fat, fantastic. Pure beef tallow here from grass-fed beef, amazing. Pricey, yes, but amazing. But this one here, the Tropical Plantations Avocado Oil, is a phenomenal deal. It's a liter and a half for $7.50. We love this because it's a high-quality fat that's heart-healthy and has no flavor. A Waldo is gone. I was saying I like this because it's a high heat oil, which means it has a high smoke point, it doesn't burn, and it's heart healthy and has no flavor. So this is probably my top choice for cooking oil here. They also have something like duck fat in the spray bottle, which is amazing, but it's an aerosol spray bottle. You don't want these because chemical propellants come out too. And just so you know, if you're going to cook with something like canola oil or veggie oil, it has to say expeller pressed. Otherwise, it's highly processed and highly refined. And I don't see any expeller pressed ones here. And speaking of non-aerosol based uh, sprays, there's two here. There's the Chosen Foods, which is fantastic, but it's way cheaper at Costco. This is actually cheap. It's Pompeian Extra Virgin Spray. And see the bottle? It doesn't have the chemical propellant. This is what you want to get. It's $2.98. That's actually a fantastic price. So that's it for the cooking oil. Overall, Walmart Supercenter, bravo. Talk about the best quality butter here at Walmart. It's going to be Kerrygold. But has anyone else spied a price increase here? You guys, this used to be, what, like, 
288 and now it's 354. Well, this is actually for the stick package. I don't see the block package here right now. So maybe that's why. Um, the thing is, I would like to get a 100% grass fed uh, butter. I don't see that here. Kerrygold is actually raised under Irish dairy laws, meaning it's grass fed 80% of the year. The other 20% of the year in the winter is harsh conditions. They feed it grain. It can be a GMO grain, but this is the best you can do here at um, Walmart. And I would also say, if you're gonna go for the spreadable Kerrygold, get the naturally softer one because we look at the ingredients and it's clean. It's just salt and uh, cream. But this one, the golden container, they add canola oil here to make it spreadable, highly processed canola oil. It's not expelled or pressed. So don't do that. I'd say your other best option here would be Organic Valley. It's not grass fed, but it is uh, grain, uh, GMO grain free. So the cows don't eat Monsanto uh, soy and corn and it's cultured butter. So they put probiotic bacteria in there, which is a great selling point. But I would just go for the Kerrygold. I think that is the best price. And hopefully they get those blocks back because they're cheaper than the sticks. I don't need those sticks. Not all fats are created equally, which is why I always say to eat grass-fed beef. And luckily here at Walmart, they have really good grass-fed beef at a fantastic price. A lot of people don't realize it's 100% grass-fed, grass-finished. Look it over on the back, it says that. You have to look for that, otherwise they finish the uh, beef on grain, which re reverses the good health benefits. And I love it here because they have 80-20 ground beef. A lot of other places, including Aldi, is 85-15. I don't want lean beef. I want fatty beef because it's delicious. And when you get grass-fed beef, the reason why it's premium and good for you is because it's pasture-raised on the grass. It has a higher nutritional profile, higher omega-3s, higher CLAs, conjugate linoleic acids, better for the environment, better for the farmer, better for the cow. They do have the organic one here, but it's 85-15. And I would just say, buy the 80-20 conventional. There's no difference. There's no hormones, no antibiotics. It is a phenomenal price at 548. Grass-fed beef, the way to go. Unfortunately, you guys, there's not one bacon here at Walmart I can approve because when I buy bacon, I look for a couple things. Number one, the quality of the pork. Is it humanely raised? Nothing here has a certified humane stamp on there. And that's a problem to me because pigs are a very dirty industry where they oftentimes put them in mass uh, houses and pens. It's really bad news. Number two, I can't find any that don't have sugar, so they're not technically paleo or keto. And number three, I can't find any that are non-GMO, meaning they're all eating GMO soy and corn. Um, I did see one at Whole Foods. Um, I'm doing some research of a couple online, but unfortunately, I would stay away from the uh, bacon here at Walmart. On this wall of hot dogs here, you gotta be careful. You don't think of high quality beef when you think of hot dogs. You think of mystery meat or what I call lips and buttholes, right? But there is one and it's Applegate Naturals, 100% grass-fed beef hot dogs, just like the grass-fed beef, just like the grass-fed cheese, grass-fed is where it's at. Ingredients are clean, I would only get this one. A lot of people like to eat these Mission low-carb tortillas, but I would actually stay away because, first of all, they're not that low-carb. They're uh, six uh, net carbs per tortilla, but the ingredients are not top quality, you guys. You're using modified wheat, then the fat they're using here is vegetable shortening made up of soybean oil. That's basic, basically a hydrogenated fat made of GMO soy. They also have natural flavorings here and a bunch of preservatives. So this is the case where by getting rid of the carbs, they're just loading with a bunch of preservatives and additives I would never touch. I'm gonna do a video, I think, about tortillas, including low carb ones to buy, because uh, there's some really cool ones in the store and online, but this is not one I would buy. This is, seems to be a staple here at many uh, Walmarts. It's the rapid fire coffee. Now, the ketogenic coffee mix is something I would avoid because there's a couple of suspect ingredients here. We look at the list and I do like the fact that they're using MCTs and grass fed butter, very cool, but they're using maltodextrin in here. Maltodextrin is a common food preservative. The problem is it oftentimes comes from corn. So if it's not non-GMO on the label, that means it comes from non-GMO corn. It's also high in the glycemic index, so it's gonna spike your blood sugar. It also has natural flavor. So for me, it's a no, but I'm going to say the ketogenic creamer from Rapid Fire is actually okay. The only suspect ingredient here would be the silicon dioxide. That's an anti-caking agent, not the best. And actually, if you go to my coffee creamer review video, I show you some phenomenal keto creamers in that video. Um, this is okay if you're here at Walmart, but I would stay away from the Rapid Fire coffee. 
right, this is a little perplexing to me. I'm looking for almond butter here because it's the lowest carb nut butter around and I can't find any good or clean quality uh, almond butter. So first let me start with peanut butter. Um, we have a whole uh, video about nut butters. You wanna avoid palm oil and sugar. And the problem is most nut butters have palm oil in there because it's a cheap emulsifier, but it's really bad for the environment and it's bad for you. So my top pick for uh, butters here at uh, Walmart is Crazy Richard's because it's one ingredient, it's just peanuts. It has three, four grams of net carbs per two tablespoon serving. The price is fantastic. The thing is I do like almond butter better because the carb count is lower, right? For the same um, serving, it has two to three-ish net carbs. The problem is every single almond butter here at uh, Walmart has either sugar or palm oil. Even the top quality brand like Maranatha, it's crazy. Look at the ingredients, every single one almonds and palm oil. Why do people use palm oil in the grocery store a lot? Think about it. You can't go to the oil section and buy palm oil to cook with at home. They use it because it's a cheap emulsifier. It makes it very, very self-stable, but it's not good for you. It's not good for the environment. I would stay away. Um, the only one I can find that doesn't have it is the raw almond butter, but that's 1548 plus. We talk about this in the nut butter video. There's no such thing as raw almond butter in the US. All almonds have to be pasteurized, so this is kind of marketing misleading. So if you can find um, one at your, even the Sam's Club one, creamy almond butter, palm oil. So if you can find one without palm oil, that's great. Otherwise, I would just go with Crazy Richards. It's a crazy good price at $2.94. It's the best you can do for a clean keto snack. We talked about wisps before, and they're a fantastic keto snack because, you guys, one bag of wisps has two grams of carbs that's amazing and there's another fact about wisp that are great because if you stick with the parmesan crisp they're really really friendly to people who are lactose or dairy intolerant because when you have aged cheeses like parmesan the dairy the casein or the casein and the lactose is eaten away by the bacteria in the aging process so it's a snack that almost everyone can have i would stay away from the uh barbecue flavor one because it has um natural flavorings, but this is a great snack for either crumbling on salads, dipping in guacamole. I will say that Costco has a monster bag for a fantastic price, but a great keto snack. That is it, Flavor Family. Art and I just did the clean Walmart keto haul like a boss, and we did get kicked out, right? I am shocked. Art is super shocked. So you know what? These videos are a lot of work to make, and we have to dodge the security left and right. Share, like, subscribe, all those good things. Uh, September is going to be a big month, you guys. We're doing a coffee review video. We're going to do a protein bar shake and powder review. Lots of good stuff. You don't want to miss it. We got two more videos going below us right now. But Art and I will see you very soon, and we say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.